Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Nick for Team of Guys, and I uh, just wanted to drop by and give you guys a little uh, little bit of insight into what's been going on lately. So, uh, been real busy. Uh, probably you can tell we haven't really uploaded a video last the last week or so. Um, a lot going on, but we're still getting in the gym, still getting after it. I want to talk to you guys about the current training program that I'm on. It's called the the Horseman Training Program. Uh, I know probably got a couple military people on here. Maybe they've heard of it. Maybe not. Um, it's kind of as from what I've seen, it's kind of underground, but uh, I, I enjoy it. Uh, it's it's been doing wonders for me, right? So um, give you guys some background on it. So the horseman training program set up by uh, these guys, um, these operators, right? And by operators, I mean uh, they call themselves team guys, but they're they say they're operators. So that could uh, I'm pretty sure it's their Navy SEALs. If not, they they might be like um, SF guys or Delta Force or something like that. Some along those lines, right? So. They're from that ilk, right? So they set up this training program where they took from like uh, CrossFit and they took from Jim Jones and they took from Mountain Athlete and they took some, uh, um, what is it, API, something like that. Uh, they took all these different workouts, right? They um, they put them all together into one four month training program. As unique, What's unique about this training program is that uh, each month is broken down to focus on a different area, right? So like your first month is gonna be, uh, it might be strength, your second month might be uh, power, uh, explosive power, your third month might be, uh, um, I don't know, something, I can't remember what the third month was. Uh, it's like uh, endurance or something. Your last month is maintenance, right? And then like when you have your first month, your uh, your strength month, uh, you're gonna do a lot more strength-oriented workouts. Now the great thing about that is that you'll be like, oh man, why? are they gonna tell me to do a whole bunch of uh, powerlifting? The great thing about this workout is that whenever you have a strength day, they give you the what type of workout you're doing, but then they give you options as far as what, what uh, within that type of workout. So you have a strength day, right? But you have 30, 40 uh, workouts to choose from within that within that, um, that set specific type of workout that you're doing. You might have power endurance, right? But they have 20, 30 workouts dedicated just to power endurance, right? Um, and it goes like that for each different type. They have, they, have, they have hundreds of workouts on here. That way you never get bored. You're always doing something different. It's always staying fresh. It's always staying new, right? I will say this, the workouts are brutal. I was in really good shape when I started the program and I struggled. I struggled hard, big time. Um, uh, a couple of things you, you're gonna need to uh, be careful about. Um, make sure that you know uh, there's a lot of power lifting, a lot of Olymp Olympic lifts. Um, these are complex lifts, all right? Um, make sure you know how to lift before you try them. Don't just watch a video or something like that and just, oh, well I can do that and then try and toss up. Uh, 225 pounds and end up snap city you know what I mean um, also uh, caloric intake watching what you eat you're really gonna have to do that because these workouts are really pretty hardcore all right so you're gonna have to up what you're eating if you uh, if you want to maintain or gain muscle mass also uh, make sure you're getting quality rest you know or, um, Everybody needs to understand the importance of rest in the recovery cycle. If you're not resting, you're, you're going to end up lethargic, you're going to end up sore, your body's not going to be able to uh, rebuild that muscle that you just got done tearing down. It's, it's going to work against you if you're not getting the right amount of rest, right? And, and lastly, and honestly, most importantly, if you're just starting to get into fitness or getting into, uh, uh, getting into better shape or anything like that, I don't recommend this program to you. Uh, I hate to burst your bubble, but honestly, this program is is hardcore to the max. You know what I mean? Um, I'm going to show you in a second here one of the workouts, so you get an idea of what I'm talking about. But um, you need to build you need to build a strong foundation uh, of physical fitness before attempting this workout. All right, uh, and the reason for that is this workout was designed by special forces guys. These guys need to be uh, some of the the fittest people on the planet to do what they do. Right. Um, they'll tell you their goals are to be able to deadlift like two and a half times their body weight, um, bench press one and a half times their body weight, front squat one and a half times their body weight, um, and, and military press their body weight, and still be able to run three miles in under 20 minutes easy, right? Um, might not seem like all that much to, to, to people, but when you're, when you're talking about somebody that's, that's 200 pounds, right, and all of a sudden you're deadlifting 500 pounds, and then you're still able to run three miles in, in, you know, 19, 18 minutes, that's, 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 
a type of fitness. People people don't understand how mu how much work goes into something like that, right? And uh, like I said, I'm gonna show you one of these workouts so you get an idea, right? Uh, the cool thing, uh, one of the cool things uh, about the workouts is they all have cool cool names, right? So this one's called uh, Sometimes Gangsters Have to Bang Hammers, right? And this is the workout, right? You start off, let me see if I can get my finger right on here. All right, so you start off 10 strict pull-ups, right? 20 handstand push-ups, 30 overhead squats, 45 pounds. Now, it doesn't seem like a lot, but once you, you know what I'm saying, get the idea, you know, and this is at 40, right? So clearly, got to go all the way back down to 10, so it ends up over here, right? Um, not for the faint of heart, okay? You know, uh, the first time you try this workout, it's going to kick your ass. You're going to be in the gym wondering what, what were you thinking when you started this, and, you know, yeah, um, so, I don't know, does anybody else do this? Go and go to the gym with a, with a clipboard and just leave it there? People look at me like I'm some kind of douchebag when I do that, I don't know. I, uh, I need it because, you know, obviously I'm not going to be sitting there like, what was that other one? I, it's a lot, of, a lot of stuff to remember. But, um, but yeah, uh, I can never find this workout anywhere. I don't know where... Uh, I, Whoever these guys are, they're they're ghosts, right? Obviously, that's part of their job, I guess. But uh, if you guys are interested, leave me a comment. I'll figure out how I can uh, hook you guys up with with it, because um, I'm here for you. But but I love it. If you're in, if you want to get in the best shape, or if you're in the military, law enforcement, any kind of thing like that, or if you want to get in the best shape of your life, I highly recommend this program. Um, and yeah, get out there, get after it, and. And make sure you guys uh, stay up and do you. Neck out. So this rapper's child's play, I do my name like princess die. Yeah, they say they want the realness.